three, two, one. Hey, <laughs> we're live now. We're recording already. Look at patches. I'm live on the Instagram here. And uh, we got some some people here. We got Patches, Victoria, Suseli. <laughs> <laughs> so they probably yeah. don't even hear the music yeah, in the background. They can, hear us. <laughs> they can hear the music in the background or nothing. But if you know, you know. Hey, say, say what's up, Patches. Say what's up. Crickets. <laughs> say what's up, Patches. What's up? Uh, okay. Well, hey, <laughs> is this just a test or we're going? No, we're going. We're going. We're going. Okay. Well, hey, guys, I'm about to peace out of here. We're going to go ahead and record this episode. I'm going to call you, Patches. Uh, well, shout You're out okay. to everybody on the Instagram live. See you later. Peace out. Hey, what is up? What's what up? Is that? What is that? You wanna you wanna give her an interview later on? Yeah, call we her? do. Yeah, yeah. You want yeah, me to call her? Sure. We, we can call her in a minute. We'll well, I thought her. you said you wanted to promote something in the beginning. Oh yes, I do. There's actually a couple things we gotta promote. You dig? So this uh, one thing that I am promoting. Uh, let me find it. <laughs> 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 let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Hey, is, excuse Eddie for taking so long to for the yeah, podcast. Yeah, because he said that we were going to do a <laughs> test, and uh, I thought this was the test, but I guess not, but that's cool. <laughs> no, so, it's good. It's good. It's an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I want to invite everybody to Sonido Latin Entertainment's Halloween party. <laughs> when is this happening, Rodolfo, you might be asking? Yes, I was about to ask that. When is it going to happen? It's going to happen... Friday, October 20th. I was not going to ask that. You were going to ask that. <laughs> where, where, was it, where is it going to be at? You were asking that too. It's going to be at OK Corral de Fort Worth. So all the people from Fort Worth, Texas, swing by, man. Swing fucking by. I still don't recall me asking, but okay. Let's you go ask. With <laughs> guess what? Your boy, me, I will be out Eddie. there recording. I'm going to be out there interviewing people, asking them some questions. So send me the questions. If you, whatever you want me to ask, send me. Also, that same night, I'm going to be at Club 2009 Dallas asking some questions over there, too. Damn, all in one Halloween night? Halloween style, uh, style. What are you going to go as in it? Yourself? I don't, I don't... <laughs> no, I'm going to dress up as you. Ha! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wasn't no, funny at the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. That's actually one of the things that I wanted to talk about. What not to wear Halloween. What not to wear. Do you know what are some top five things that you do not want to wear at Halloween? Yeah, anything political. Nah, well, I mean, those are cool, but they're overrated. Not, not a lot of people dress up political. But these top five costumes for the girls are the ones that you're always going to see. You know? Hey, you're always going to see you, the Superwoman. The su- uh, well, yeah, super woman, cat woman. Yeah, oh, do, you, do you know one? The w- first one that's super basic on girls. No, go ahead. It's the cat ears and the whiskers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The basic. Basic as fuck. You don't want to be wearing that at the party because there's going to be 20 or 50 other girls doing the same damn thing. Do you know what's the second one? No, go ahead. The second one is going to be Hardy Queen. Ever since that movie, I swear to God, ever I've since never that, seen movie that movie released, me either, but ever since that movie released, I think it was Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. Ever since that movie released, every single basic girl wants to be Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, is, is that the one with the color hair? Yeah, that okay, is the no, one with the color hair in the back. Then it's uh, the one that you said, uh, Superwoman. <laughs> you stole the, you guess one of the ones, right? Uh, what? Which one is one of the other ones that is very base, basic? The bunnies. No. The bunnies are very basic. I've never seen the bunnies in a while. You've never seen the the, the, the bunnies? Like the Playboy bunnies? Oh, yeah. Never exactly. Mind, yeah. You go to a party, you're going to see a lot of girls dressed up as those costumes. Wait, so is this... Uh, you said Oak and Crow, right? Is that going to be costume? Yeah, it's going to be costume. So don't wear none of those fives that I just mentioned for girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, who's, be dressed, so who and who is going to go? So who is, who is going to go? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be the recording. Shout out to DJ Scooby-Doo. Eh, no, his name is not Scooby-Doo. It's DJ Scooby. Um, Are you shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, and I'm shaggy. Um, shout out to the Sony Latin Inter- Entertainment team for allowing me to go over there and record. I, I really appreciate it. means a lot. Must be nice to be invited. Means a lot. Must be nice to be invited. You're invited. Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Play one podcast. No last way to pay on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> hey, since we already shit on the girls' costumes, guess what other top five? For the guys? For the guys. Zombie costume? 
Uh, well, that could be part of one. But one of the basic ones is that motherfucker that is skinny, scrawny as fuck, has a six pack. It could be 40 degrees. Se quitan la camisa en a magic mic. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I, me either. Obviously, <laughs> I am hating. The only six pack I can get is probably the one from a Corona six pack. <laughs> um, what is the other basic one from guys? This goes with one of the girls, Hugh Hefner. Superman. But Hugh Hefner? Have you not seen one guy dressed up as Hugh Hefner <laughs> with all the snow bunnies? Yeah. I said, Whack. <laughs> What'd you say? I said Superman. Hey, After you had said. That actually is one of the ones that was in the list as well. I found this on the internet. I don't know what's the website. I was just doing some research last night. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, what is the other one? Spider-Man. Okay. Sounds fair enough. Whack. And... Well, I've never seen anyone as Spider-Man. Really? Where are you getting these from? You've never been to like a block party. Yeah, but I've never seen like... you never seen a Spider-Man? No. I've seen plenty of them. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. He was wearing one at Metro. You might have seen this new different uh, setup, right? Let me interrupt you there. This is for easier video editing. On my side. El que huevón. Este huevón. El huevón más. este no quiere hacer editing. Este nah. huevón. Nah, don't este, even, este, no, we, este no, huevón, este no, huevón, este no. huevón, este huevón, este huevón, este huevón, este huevón, este huevón, ah, you motherfucker, no, he's lying to you guys, este huevón nada más llega nope. y a grabar, nope, I always, I always offer, thank you for turning off my mic there, you asshole, I always offer for help and he never wants me to help him, that's on him, <laughs> I got the power, you, I'm like, you fucking <laughs> cunt, <laughs> but yeah, it's still when I was getting a and I'm like, have to set up the whole cabling and everything. He doesn't ask me for help. He doesn't <laughs> ask me for help. I, I I asked him to change the mic. What does he do? He drops <laughs> the mic. Okay, I never miss with none of these little special setup things. He's, so yeah, no, okay. yeah, no, you're saying you never ask for help. <laughs> Today I asked you for. I was like, hey Eddie, can you change that <laughs> mic? To this mic It was just it a was, simple it was, Wait 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 It was just a simple Unplug And then actually, plug the mic You just have to like Open this And I was like I wasn't sure if you have to And this fool op- Opens that thing With the mic still plugged in <laughs> And the mic just goes Boom <laughs> And I was like There goes a $150 mic Damn I'm sorry man It won't happen again boss Good thing I buy the heavy duty ones There you go Dummy proof <laughs> you mean, ah, you fucking asshole Listen, I'll help him with anything else But setting up mics then That was the easiest thing I'm you pretty could've... good at drinking beer That's the only thing I know how to fucking do Rolando for money biz You better you better not screw that up I just gave you I gave him one task of bringing water And he brings <laughs> coke I went to the gas station And they didn't have water So I was like, oh, well, I guess we're drinking coke So the whole gas station didn't have any type they of water. They have water, but just water bottles. I was going to bring a whole case, you know, like a 24 pack. Okay. And then that's you better, you better not screw. That's why I brought a whole uh, <laughs> technical. <whoa. laughs> just leave the box. I bought a whole box of Coke. Okay. But you better not screw. Though. I ah. gave him, I gave him the, the, the responsibility of keeping time with time, keeping track of time. <laughs> I'm not struggling back here. Okay, cool. Okay, but yeah, just wanted to just wanted to throw that in a different setup. Nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for the setup. Lovely. Very lovely. I like it. Mm-hmm. I do too. Now I know. You're, now you're closer to me, so I, if you want to fucking act funky. Oh, oh, throw it. <laughs> oh, mute you at. <laughs> ah, like, click. The power of him being the producer. Yeah. I had already popped him. Shut up. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Alright Rolofo What do you have for us man? Oh you said you wanted to um, Say something about scary stories? Yeah well? but wait, Or you said you wanted to Interview uh, What's a girl? La Paches Wait 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 La, La Sandia <laughs> La Sandia <laughs> I mean also, I was thinking I was thinking of uh, Duraznos What is it? Peaches way. Peaches <laughs> La dura- Durazni dura- Also Durazni Duraznos way. Also, I want to give another big old shout out, Rodolfo, to, to Tania. Tania? Oh, yeah, Tania. Do you Tania. know Tania? Yeah, I know Tania. So, everybody, follow Carolina's Chick Store. 
she has some awesome clothing in there. She has some cool shirts uh, for ladies, and they look like so Halloween Dia de los Muertos themes. Oh yeah, I like those. Fucking dope. I actually so, have one of those shirts, not from her, but, but from Mexico. But so it has like Dia de los Muertos. If you want to get a shirt, you make sure you go to Carolina's Chick Store. It's gonna if be right here. If you have a girlfriend, if you have a cousin, a uh, aunt, like she said. Make sure you visit the uh, Instagram page and buy these awesome shirts. I want one. I really do. But they don't fit me because they're for girls. Yeah, I was about to say they're for girls. I know. I'm about to get one to my baby Nats. Nats. <laughs> if, if it was for you, it would be extra, extra, extra large. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you, want do you want me to try a small one on here for the <laughs> podcast? Taya <laughs> porno. Taya que porno. Did you say? Oh, you stupid ass. X, X, X. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but you said you wanted to tell some scary stories that happened yeah, to you. Yeah, scary stories. Since it's Halloween. Since it's Halloween. Music change. Where's the music change? Music change. DJ Rudy. <laughs> hey, Alexa. Turn off the lights. A la chingada <laughs> Y ya tenemos el setting aquí De Scary stories <laughs> Che wey uh, You go first Your your scary encounter My scariest encounter yeah. So I had a scary Okay so In my grandma's house Siempre siempre se dice que Había Una niña Ghost Ghost girl Supposedly The story goes That her dad shot her inside of the house and obviously she died so now the story is that they see a ghost girl with a bullet hole and white dress i don't know why they always associate it with a white dress one day i spent the night there i wasn't supposed to sleep there i was taking care of my little cousins go ahead <laughs> And go ahead, go commercials. ahead. Commercials. So, we were not an entertainment party. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> technical difficulties. Okay, okay I was saying, they're not going to hear it, but it's because we have, have a. There was an ad that popped up, but they're not going to hear the ad. Okay, sorry. So, yes. So, uh, basically, I was laying asleep, taking care of my cousins. Whenever my, my aunt wanted to go pick up my cousins from my grandma's house, I was supposed to leave with them. But she thought I was asleep. So, she didn't even bother waking me up. I heard them wait, uh, leaving. So, I literally ran. I was running down the street trying to re like reach. I was like, hey, like running down the street while they were driving off. Something that you see off of a movie. I was literally swinging my arms like chopping. And they did not see me. So it was like three in the fucking morning and I was running like an idiot just chasing them in the car. They were at a three concert. So when I went back into the house in that room that that little girl supposedly died, my cousin was, uh, there was one bed over here and another bed over here. My cousin was sleeping over here. I was sleeping over here. I heard a little like chuckle, like a little. <clears throat> I was like, hmm. I was like, is my cousin awake? I was like, did she see me like running behind them or something? I was like, that's why she's laughing. I get closer to my cousin and I'm like, this and I could I thought I saw her like smiling I was like this bitch is probably awake and she's just laughing at my stupid ass no guess what happened next what they had a counter and in the counter you can hear this boy I was like what the hell so they did have a window there and I was like huh maybe somebody's knocking on the window so I, I was like I froze for like three seconds and I ran to go get my uncle and I was like hey somebody's knocking on the window and he, says, he gets up literally all of this happened in less than 20 seconds he gets up fast and runs outside and nobody was there wait so your grandma bought a house with some that somebody was killed in I mean I don't know I mean I don't know if somebody was killing it but that's what they say those are the stories so and whenever your grandma bought the house it wasn't you uh no it was not me and I remember that back <laughs> then my cousin said the one picture it was back then when they had the flip phones and the little oh. flash was whack and the little figure of a little girl was next to them I never saw the picture they never saw them. they never let me see the picture but there was a picture Pretty, pretty scary. I'm so confused. I don't know if that's you or the fucking music in the <laughs> fucking background. I read Rody. 
What's yours? All right, so um, I have a couple. The the worst. You got two minutes. Hmm. We got two minutes. You got two minutes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna make it quick. So it, this was in Mexico, and it wasn't mine, but it always happens to everybody. No, this one's actually Mexico. true because this one. Well, it was before. I actually have a couple. Like my cousin's house is. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared. No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I was trying to scare you. <laughs> well, they go five seconds. Okay, go, 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 go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, but I'm saying. I was like, what is this fool doing? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he's possessed. <laughs> I didn't do that. Okay, anyways, we will say it back when we get back from this <laughs> small moment break. Yeah, because we have to go on break here in a minute. All right, and we will go on break. We'll be Just, back. We will be back. <laughs> and we'll keep on with the you know, scary, scary stories. stories to tell them, <laughs> to tell them the dark. <laughs> And we are back again with the scary stories. Yes, scary stories. And then, you know, you interrupted me. But you may have seen it. We have a little bit of a different setup. Yeah, we set up. We set up a different. But uh, we were trying to get something working. We took like 20 minutes. 30. An hour. Well, well, I took 30. He was just sitting there listen, not doing anything. Listen. I was <laughs> researching stuff. Quote, unquote. Anyways... So I'm going to make it simple on this one because we're actually going to make this one longer. So we have a little bit more time. Okay. But so this one happens in Mexico. You know how they say like everything happens in Mexico? Everything, everything scary is always happens in Mexico. It does. It does. But um, so it was... Okay, how can I picture it? The way that it, it happened in my aunt's house, right? So she says that she, it, she will always hear like, you know, whenever people are walking with chains. Oh... Uh. Okay, so th- and this one's for real though, because it's not just her. Like everybody around in that area heard it. So she says that it's 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 always at night. Like almost everybody's just going to sleep. It's like around eleven, twelve ish. And she says that it's because they live. You know how like uh, it's like the the house is right here, and then like right next to it, it's the street. It's, right. There's not like a yard or anything like that. And the street is made of pavement, and you know like how in Mexico is. And so like their, their house is right there. And so like they're literally the only thing that separating them, it's a wall from the street to their houses. Cause like the street is right here and the house is right here. So it's literally right next to it. So they say that whenever they're always trying to go to sleep, they just hear like a man just like, like walking upstairs, like in the middle of the night, but with chains. Upstairs in their house. No, no, like to upstairs to like the, um, street, the street. Yeah, the street. like they're walking up street and they just hear like the people walking with chains and like, like dragging chains. Yeah, like dragging chains, and he just like, mm, mm, like just goes like that, and I'm like little, whenever I'm a, I'm a little bit more concerned about that noise. Where, where the fuck is this ghost making those noises, man? Anyway, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, they just walk up there, and they just whenever they go outside, they don't he- they don't see anything anymore. They hear it, but they don't see anything anymore. Is this just your tia uh, hearing it, or is it everybody like in the neighborhood hearing? Yeah, like I'm telling you, there's like a house here and then a house here, a house here, here. Like they all hear it. They all hear it. They just don't see it. And so whenever they stay up all night, because my my tío has stayed up night with the rifle, just wanted to see what it is. But it never happens whenever he stays up. But whenever they don't stay up, they always hear like him walking up like to the street with like the chains. No, and there's like more stuff that happened over there. So it's like, uh, you know, like they say, like La Llorona. You know, yeah. Mis hijos. You know, but you know how they say, like, the if you hear it far away, she's close to you. And if you hear it close, she's far away. No. You never, never heard, heard of that? I never heard of that. So if you're ever in Mexico and you hear it far away, that means she's really close to you. So if you ever hear La Llorona while she's far away from you, bitch, run. Yeah, because she's really close. Like, if you hear, like, really, like, like, let's say we're right here. We hear it all the way in the mountains. That bitch is in here. Yeah, that she's, like, somewhere here. But if you hear like really close, like if I was talking to you, no, she's far away. Yes, sir. I don't know. It's just how they say, it. and they, they say that it's true because sometimes they do hear it close, but like nobody looks. And like sometimes they see it far away, but they just see like shadows. But is she really trying to take us? Ya somos pinches viejos verijones de 21 años plus. I never heard. I never but, heard her either. But like everybody, everybody in Mexico, they heard like their cries, and they say that it's like really painful. As in, like it sounds someone that's really in pain. Like it's not—it's not just—it's not just a cry. It's like, like an intense, 
shallow cry. Uh huh. And then one thing that happened to me, I, I remember here whenever I was by myself. You know how they say the, the three knocks? Like, you know, the, the three knocks of the devil. Yeah, like it was. It was like around 12 or 11, and I was by myself because my parents were like in a, like in a party, and I just wanted to stay here. <laughs> how old were you? Like 16, 17. Ah! We all know why you wanted to stay here till 12 o'clock by yourself. <laughs> no, see why you have to, why you have to make it. <laughs> why else would you not want to go to the party? Because I wanted to stay, sleep in. I, uh-huh. I still do that here. Sleep in. <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. <laughs> he's, not, he's, not denying, he's not denying it. <laughs> no, I, I'm You're like, hold up. You're not denying that you wanted to play video games, man. I know. Hold it up. Happens. Hold up. Okay, so it was that. And then I just heard the three knocks, but I was like, nobody's here. But it's because it, the, the scary thing was I heard it in my room. So like, let's sit in the door room. And like my room is, you know, it's like there's a room right there. So like, let's say right here, you know how like there's a door right here, mm-hmm. there's a door, another right? So you can't knock this door unless you're inside. Uh-huh. So I heard like, the like imagine we're just here recording and we just hear like, like in that door. And then I open it and nobody's, nobody's there. Oh, hell. So like, I remember whenever that happened, I remember I turned on all the lights. Because I, I was young, but I remember, I still remember I turned on all the lights. Chamiedo, so weird. You would have done the same thing too. Uh, well, I mean, if somebody's knocking on my motherfucking door, I'm going to be like, who the fuck are you when I was mm, 16? No. When I was younger, I'm uh-huh. say, when I was younger, I'll probably be scared. But now, as I get older, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm fighting demons. Mm-hmm. If they can fucking touch you, I, you can fucking touch them, too. That's what you say, but I'm not. That's what I, I mean. Not wait, the wait, demons. Are, I don't even want to associate wait, wait, wait. with demons, but are, I'm just saying. Uh, um, so wait, I'm are not we calling going you to, out. doesn't mean that you can go fuck with me, demons, but I'm just saying. What? Somebody's, somebody's gonna do some hardcore witchcraft on you. Oh, no, please. But, anyways, are we going to a haunted house today? It's you, Asahid? Yeah. Ah! Wait, you just fucked up all my plans, man. <laughs> Why? Because I, I you just. Okay, we'll figure it out after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, but yeah. And then I think that one of the last things uh, on this one, it's, I remember it was it was. It was me, my mom, and my dad, and uh, we were just, it was like 12, we were just staying up, watching movies, but it, we were all going to sleep, and when we heard on the front door, you know, like, whenever somebody has long nails, yeah, like we him. just heard, like, we just heard, like, this, like, in the front door, and we have, like, the ring, so it, it, we can see who was there, nobody was there, and it was just, like, no, yeah, you oído? No, it, it was, like, it was, like, today, like, just, it was in a summer day, nobody, nothing was that. And then we saw on the back, we just saw like bushes moving, like, like if something ran. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Recently, I. Do you get sleep paralysis ever? I've never gotten one. What the fuck? I get those like every now and then. I no, hate so, them. somebody that's holy and, you know, doesn't do sí, kind of no. bullshit like Come you on, do. Say one. I don't. You know, I think say the. I, no, no, no. This is, this is one of my. Theories, but I think that the reason why you get sleep rest is because you sleep up front. Yeah, I want to say yeah because uh, it, it, it one time it happened that that happened and I would literally woke up face front. You know. Yeah, like, yeah, no, and see the reason I don't get it, it's because I'm not, I can't sleep up like this. I have, to, I have to sleep on my side, on my other side, or I have to be facing down. But I, I can't. Yeah, woke up, but I can't be like looking like. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do it I think I think that's true But I usually never sleep like that So whenever I do get it I still do get it Pass me a coke But I Whenever I get <laughs> Whenever I get sleep paralysis Stuff I don't even know if it's sleep paralysis It's just me Dreaming In a way Like I'm awake I can Set feel myself muerto. That's what it I is I can feel myself que, uh, That I'm awake I can feel me Trying to move Like wake myself up But in my head I'm dreaming but when I'm dreaming, it's not something. I'm not. I'm not in Miami Beach with a lot of hot babes. I'm. You know, I, <laughs> I'm fucking. I actually, I actually, I told my mom uh, um, a couple of days ago. But uh, I, I dreamed that I was in Italy, Italy, and so I literally woke up like, all right, you know what? Next year I'm gonna go to Italy. Stop! I had a. Literally this morning, I was dreaming that I was in Amsterdam. I don't know where the fuck that. Yeah, I, I dreamed that I was in Italy. So I was like, I told my mom, I was like, you know, where's, where's Amsterdam? I just dreamed. I don't even know what that place is or if it's even a place. But I didn't yeah, dream about it today. But anyways, I, I told him, I was like, mom, 
you heard it right now. I, I dreamed that I wasn't going to Italy, so I'm going to go to Italy. Yeah. And I was like, I plan on going to Italy in like, or between August to September. Damn, August to September, a whole month. Well, my dreams are not like that. And no, no, you know, but that, that's just random. But, but my dreams, this is the weirdest thing, though. Even though when I'm here, like before, now I, I go to like church a little bit more more often. And but before I used to dream of like oh, that I was I, I live here, but I, I was in my house in Mexico. Like you know how whenever like it, there's a thunderstorm coming or it's like all cloudy and you like there's a lot of wind and stuff like that. I used to always dream that I was just I just wake up over there, uh-huh. and then like it's all you know escurecido, and then I would just uh, wake up and I'll feel like scared because I was I couldn't find no one, but it was the way that because we got my house remodeled. From over there, it's not the same that it used to be. But I always dream how it used to be before. Then I will always dream that I I will see like this little white girl, and sometimes it'll be like a doll. Show me your green card, huh? I would have been like, show me your green card. You can be around here, bitch. The fuck you doing in my country? Get your ass back. Oh, anyways, I oh. was in Mexico. I was in Mexico, and then I would dream exactly. Okay, but anyways. Yeah, but no, but it's like, you know, like the pale ones, not like, not like little, it was like, she was like pale, but the thing is her eyes were red. Like I will see her eyes red or they will either be black, but I will always dream that she was, um, she would be behind me and she will chase, she will start like walking towards me and I will run and she will chase me and I will always wouldn't be able to. <laughs> it's cause I thought somebody walked in. So I was like, who walked in? But anyways, I will always remember. <laughs> I will always remember that she would start chasing me. Then I wouldn't. I wouldn't like be able to, like, escape it. So I would just always wake up. <gasps> really? Okay. It, it wouldn't happen one time. Wonder- it wouldn't happen one time. It would happen like multiple times. Like it was the same dream. Like not like the same week, but I will always dream the same dream, same scenario, same place, same time. Same. I everything. think you were probably having that sleep paralysis thing. No. No, no, but I wasn't here. I was in Mexico. Yeah, exactly. Because whenever I have my those scary no dreams, sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis is whenever you're let's say I sleep in that bed, I wake up in that bed, but I can't move. Okay, look. Well, this is a weird thing. One time I had a, I had, a, I feel like it's a dream. I don't know. I don't know how else I was socializing with. I was once. I was dreaming. That I was awake and I was like paralyzed. So I was doing so much force to wake up that I, I still couldn't wake up. And so I, 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 me in my head, I was like doing so much force that I thought I fell, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a, I thought I was awake already because I was like, oh shit, what the fuck, that's crazy. So I get up, and then whenever I get up, get closer to your mic. I see myself. I see myself. <laughs> Sorry, distracted. Oh, that's uh. Like I literally uh, I was doing so much force That I thought I was What is it from that movie? Uh, Insidious Insidious yeah And then I get up And then I see myself This was The worst that I think It probably had ever gotten And I knew it was a dream I think it was a dream I um, I, I, It was a dream I was like Holy crap I was like I thought I was already awake So I laid back down Like in my body And then I was like Doing so much pressure Supposedly me To wake up and then I wake up in another place. I wake up in my grandma's house and it's all dark. Like how it is at night. I was walking around and opening doors. I'm like, everybody's asleep here. And then uh, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I was like, I'm just going to go home. So whenever I got home, I was like pressuring myself again so I can wake up. I get back home, but I'm in the front door. When I open the door, I go in, I lock the door. Of course, I'm not going to leave that shit open. <laughs> I go to my room, but when I go to my room, I see myself again, but this time, I'm. You're dead. Levitated. Oh hell no! And then after that, I swear to God, I was like, "What the freak did I? What the hell did I just dream? Why am I dreaming this?" And I was just like, "I'm just gonna not think about it." And I literally, the only way that I woke up was because I was praying. And then when I prayed, yeah, that's how you do it. I woke up. Telling you. And ever there's since good, that, ever since, ever since that happens, the way that I'm able to tell if I'm dreaming or if I'm awake, if it's actually real, ha- really happening, I pinch myself in my dream because I can see myself. So if I can see myself, I'm like, oh, I think I'm dreaming. So I just pinch myself, and if I don't feel any pain when I'm pinching myself, that has I'm ever dreaming. happened to me. 
Are we good on time? Just saying. Yeah, we are good on time. We got five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. So, anyways, okay. So keep going. That was one of the dreams, and now that it happens, like I said, it is always like um, I just pinch myself, and if I'm pinch, I'm pinch myself, and it doesn't hurt, I was like, okay, so I'm dreaming. I just have to wake up now. Hmm. And I'm telling you that when that I hate when that happens, but I feel like whenever that happens is because you're all like your body is ready to go to sleep, but you're not. Like your brain is like, oh fuck, I'm tired, I'm shutting down. It shuts down, but your body's trying to fight it. So you're kind of stuck in the middle of sleeping and being awake. So it's like your brain falls asleep, but your body doesn't, and then that's when that happens. Hmm. Yeah, there, I think there, there's like two different. There's like the scientific way. Of it, and there's like also like the just the spiritual like stories behind it. Yeah. Yeah. So Have you seen Anna- uh, Annabelle? Like anytime I watch a scary fucking movie, I'm like on it, so I'm full of everything. Oh yeah, I've seen Annabelle. It's good. It's good. They're good movies. But anytime I see any scary movies, I'm on edge with everything. Like if you fucking scare me, this is like you're gonna scare me more. So. Oh yeah. No, I'm. Yeah, I'm paranormal too as well. Yeah, because I mean, like, let's this- go do an investigation. I heard that down the street here, there's an empty school. Where? Which one? Um, I don't know, but there's a little street that leads you like up a hill, and there's an empty, empty like pre-K kindergarten building or something like that. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. My friend told me about it. All right. Well, since we are about to go on break, you can Google that or research that, and then we will get back to you. We're gonna take like. Four breaks throughout these podcasts because we have to like do one every 15 minutes around there one time sometimes. Okay. okay. Well, we'll be back with a different setup with the lights on. Uh, I think, uh, do you have any more scary stuff you got do that you want to throw in three minutes? Mm, no, I think I will, uh, are we done with the scary stuff. I'm done with the scary stuff. We can move on. Wait, wait, the- but you got to research the uh, haunted. I mean, the. I'll research that, but I don't know if it's true. I don't know how true this is. This but is we're going to get back what, to it. Yeah, well, I'll let y'all know if I find something. But we're going to be back with live phone calls. Oh, yeah, live phone this calls. It's going to be fun. And we are back once again. So, yeah, man. We're going to have to go check that place out. Yeah, we're going to have to go check that once place out. Once we're done out. recording, they say it's an abandoned building where it's just been like a school or something like that. I don't know how legit it is. I heard it from my homeboy, James. So, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna be like Ghostbusters. We're gonna go take a drive over there right now just to see what's up. Oh yeah. Okay. So I guess we're just wrapping it up the scary sound. That's it for Halloweeny. That's it. Well, I think we're gonna have another podcast before with Halloweeny, but um. (laughs) before Halloween actually ends, Uh and then. (laughs) Yeah, well, Pavo. I will Pavo. All right. So Alexa, turn on the lights. I'm sorry. It's because Alexa. Alexa, turn on the lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we are back. So I, I normal think we're gonna, setup, man. Normal setup once safer. again. <laughs> ah, okay, so we're gonna give a couple a call right now <laughs> to wish someone very special happy hours. Birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very, very... Very good close friends of us. You know what? Whenever you call, put it on your microphone because I feel like your microphone catches more sound. All right. So we are going to call Palomita Blanca. Paloma Negra, Paloma Negra. What's your not answer? She probably won't. She's probably busy. Probably. At the, as she was eating lunch. Was she? I saw her on her Instagram. Oh, you should have said that beforehand. Anyways, if she doesn't answer, happy <laughs> birthday, Paloma. We meant to call you. Your surprise party was off the hook. You don't know still. You don't know yet that there's a surprise party for you, but there is. There is. Today at four. It's four. Please leave your message. Let's okay. leave her a voice message. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's coming back. Palomita. Hi, Eddie. I missed your call. I'm sorry. Hey, Paloma. That's Rodolfo. That's Rodolfo. It's me. Oh, hi, Rodolfo. How are you? Good. What you doing? Nothing. I'm just, um, I'm leaving brunch right now. Oh, hey, pa- Paloma. What's up? We wanted to tell you happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you, guys. Y'all are so sweet. She's finally 21. <laughs> You're finally 21. I'm finally 21. We 
we can go everywhere now. <laughs> What's the play? What's the play? What are we going tonight? Shoot, y'all name it. Bet. Bet. Well, we're just recording for the podcast and we want to let you know happy birthday. Yeah. Are y'all recording right now? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Uh, but I have to listen to the one you sent me yesterday because I was too busy, you know, getting ready and being rushed. Uh-huh. So I listen to it when I have time. Thank you guys. Y'all are so sweet. Yeah, whenever right. you get ready today for, for, I don't know, whatever. I'll listen to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, uh, thank you guys. Bye, Paloma. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday to Paloma, man. She's one of my favorite persons ever. She's so nice. So she nice. Is. And she doesn't know she's having a she surprise. She doesn't know she's having a surprise yeah, birthday party. Know. But guess what? <laughs> Paloma, we know that you don't know. Uh-huh. But that's okay. You're going to come look at this video. Like, I think everybody from uh, the promo? promotions are going to be with... Are you going to go? Yeah. <coughs> I am. What? what? Are gonna get there? what? I don't know where the place... I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, it's oh, 2.32. Shit. All right, uh, probably I'll get ready, take a shower, and then just head out over there. But where? I don't have the address. Oops, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, I'll send it to so you. So we're going to interview one more person. Yeah, basically, this interview, I just want to know what is the most embarrassing thing that, ha- that has happened to people at the club? What is your most embarrassing story that has happened to you at the club, Rodolfo? Embarrassing? Yeah, at the club. I don't think I have any. Like, uh, like... <laughs> like, I don't think I have anything that's like embarrassing, embarrassing at the club. Yeah, yes you have. Come on, now. think of the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you at the club. I don't know. Maybe getting asked for my ID. I guess. Like I don't know. Like you never fail at the club. No. Like not that you were drunk and you fell, but like let's say you were just uh, walking and there was water on the floor and you fell. No, oh, no, I never fell. Have you ever farted at the club and just walked away and pretended like you did not fart? No, but it, then it would, again, it wouldn't be hurt because just the club. Exactly. So you have done it then? No, but I'm saying like it wouldn't you, be hurt. You're telling me that you never farted at the club or a club or a party before and just walked away and pretended like you didn't fart. You said a club, but no. Or I a party. No, I still. Because I mean, I would like go to the restroom. For a fart? Dude, I just farted like five times in here, and you didn't even you didn't even uh, you didn't even notice, man. Exactly Nasty. my fucking point. All right, let's go ahead and ask some people over the phone. What is the most embarrassing stories at the club? Hello. Hi, Patches. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, we're recording for the podcast. Hey. Hey. I want to let you. I want you. I want to know what is your most embarrassing story that you had at the club. The most, the most embarrassing one. The very oh, most. Shit. Um, the most embarrassing one, I would say. I, like, I, I don't know. That's a good one because a lot of things that can happen to me <laughs> at the club. Oh, okay. Stuff that she doesn't at remember. <laughs> okay, at 09, um, I went with Eddie. I don't know if you remember Eddie. We went to Damn, 09, Eddie? We went upstairs, and I lost you upstairs, and I came downstairs. But I missed a step, and I like fell. <laughs> Everybody, I go from like I would say the fifth step all the way down to the floor. That's kind of drunk. So I kind of put a show on for everybody. Oh my god! That's the most. It was embarrassing. Like, oh my god! Okay. I could just see Patches rolling down the freaking yeah, stairs. Drunk, so, so yeah, yeah I guess you. I guess you win the most embarrassing award. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Hey, who are you with? Are you with anybody else? Just you whack. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Patches, for your telling us your story about your most embarrassing uh, stuff that had happened at the club. Hey, Patches, question. Have you ever farted at the club and you just kind of walked away like if you didn't fart? Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Rodolfo. I told you, Rodolfo. People do this. Yeah, it happens. You'd be surprised. It does. It's funny each other's farts and shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Patches. Get back to work. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right, the yeah. way that she just said, ah, yeah. She would have done it here live. Now, let's see what other people have to say, because I've been asking this question. So let me see. This is my, uh, well, this is Anonymous. Who's that? Okay, we're right here with Anonymous. Hey, tell me what is your most embarrassing story at the club? At 
think my most embarrassing story is whenever I went to a gay strip club and tried to dance on the pole with my friend. On the pole? Yeah, on the pole. And I was a stripper at the time, so I thought I could handle it. Oh, damn. And then I ended up getting too drunk, went upside down to do one of my tricks, and then just fell smack on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) So she was a stripper, and she was trying to do... A uh, little move, so she was going, and she, I guess she was it's upside down, and she went, crack her fucking neck. <laughs> Shout out to Anonymous. Anonymous, I can't wait to show you this. Now, let's see this one. I right, give you another one. This is another one. I don't want to. It was Selena's birthday. I don't want to. Hold up. I don't want them to hear this. Okay, there was one time that I sat at the bar. And I was walking to my truck, and all the time I would smell shit. And I would even tell my boyfriend, why the fuck do I smell shit? Like shit? We were passing by the little creek in the back, and I was like, it's probably the creek. But then I get to my truck, and I sit down, and I touch my ass, and I look at my hands, and there's shit all over me. No my- way! No way, that's sick! That fucking shit! Did you throw up? No, I started crying because I was so mad. I wanted to go in there and find the bitch so I could whoop her ass. Oh my god! Fucking ass, fuck that. I just took, I just took my skirt off and I went, I went inside my apartment with a thong on. Bitch, (laughs) fuck! So basically, her story is that she was at the club, and whenever she was at the club, she sat at the bar, and in the bar, a girl had left shit Uh. in the little stalls. So she sat down on the shit without realizing that she sat down on the shit while she was walking out of the club. She said that she was smelling shit. She thought it was probably like the creek or the pond, uh, just the woods, I guess, a tree or whatever, like a dog shit or something. And she had some other girl's shit in her dress. Did she not check or something? You know, maybe when she opened the door and like, oh, there's I, shit there. Well, I mean, it I wasn't at the there. door. It was at the bar. She was in the bar. Oh, oh, a stall in a bar. So somebody shitted on the fucking like maybe like a drunk girl that was sitting with her dress open and she fucking like came with the little present. Came with a little present. <laughs> <laughs> a ver. Right, you so you don't have any embarrassing stories, man? No, I just don't get embarrassed. Any embarrassing stories, man? No, I just don't get embarrassed in the club or anything like that. You don't. Let's see. Let's see what this person says. Who's that? Her name is Suseli. Hey, Suseli, hey. what are you doing? Hey, Nancy, hey. Naki, We're recording for the podcast. I want to ask you a quick question, Suseli. Hey, what is your most embarrassing story that you had at the club? Um, One time, I was buying shots for my friends, and when I, I got like four, and they, they all spilled on me, and it looked like I had period. <laughs> Holy fuck Oh my goodness okay. Was it the paleta shot? Yes bro Oh shit What was that rule? Okay so yeah I remember one time That happened to me too Like I was just in the restroom You know like whenever you're washing your hands uh-huh. Like the little thing Like it's screw, it's, it spilled a little bit more So it spilled like whenever like uh, In my crotch And it, it looked like I pee myself <laughs> <laughs> Hey well thank you Suseli Okay bye Eddie Bye okay. Uh huh, you too. Damn, so you spilled and it looked like you peed on yourself? Mm-hmm. No. Like when no. I was washing my hands, you know, like the little thing, I, throwing, it, I think it was like malfunction, but whenever I think it was like that, it was like, just threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I was like, oh, I was trying to wash my hands. But. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me at the club? I don't think I have embarrassing club moments, but what it is, what it is embarrassing, I almost fell. It was raining and it was kind of wet. The floor was wet, and uh, uh, I was in the middle. I was recording, and then I was there was like a little spin the bottle thing. So I was recording people spinning the bottle and people going to dance. Fucking bottle dan- landed on me, and these two fucking buff ass gorilla looking ass motherfuckers. I was like, no, no, like, like I was trying to tell them that I was recording, and they're like, fuck your recording. So both of them grabbed me, one hand each, and they fucking pull me. And whenever it was wet, the floor was wet. So whenever they pull me, I swear I slid with one leg. And the other leg was in the air. Wait, were there security guards? No, there weren't security guards. There were just people. Uh And then whenever I almost fell, I heard everybody in that circle, because there was a circle, everybody was looking at me, screamed. All of them, ah! Like, I heard their whole fucking circle. (laughs) 
<laughs> everybody was waiting for me to fall, and then I, I was able to stick the landing, like to catch my balance. And I just like, hey, hey, hey. And I was like, motherfuckers, <laughs> you fucking cunts. You almost dropped me. I told you not to do that. <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. Uh-huh. That was, a, I think that's the most embarrassing moment that I have that I almost fell and everybody saw that. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't push that stuff out of the old because her mom just walked in the room. Was it? Yeah, it was your mom. Okay. Uh, okay, but anyways. Uh, well, yeah. I guess that's all the that's all I have for the embarrassing stories at the nightclub. I was trying to get I'll try to gather I'll try to gather more stories that way I could bring them in here and if they want to share it, they can share the story and yeah. Okay. Sounds good. How good are we on the time? The time we still got about four minutes. All right, so that. All right, so we're gonna go into the last break. Do you want to keep it going? Uh, well, I mean, maybe that offer today. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good that's offer good. today. That's good enough. Okay, so we'll catch you for the next one, and we are gonna go to the haunted house. We're gonna go to haunted houses. Hey guys, remember Sonido Latin Entertainment. This post is kind of sponsored by Sonido Latin Entertainment. Why is it really? Not? Fuck it. Why not? Let's just make it a sponsorship. I'll be recording there Friday, October the twenty fifth, with the people. From OK Corral and Fort Worth, so Fort Worth people, show some support. Come out. If you want to get an interview, let me know. I will be there asking all these type of fuckeries. Remember, wear your costume. Wear your costume. Cash money prices. Fort Worth, Texas. Meet me at OK Corral, the Fort Worth. See you there. Bye-bye.